I right. am also rolling. Brought us some, some fries too. Did you see that? Those fries are fatties. Are they good? Yeah, show the camera. Those are some nutty bad Those are some there. Publix fries. Yeah, those are some naughty girls. Oh my god. You feel her disrespecting you mm -hmm. right there? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> They're wow. good. I should just spit on my face. All right. Publix chicken tindies inbound. Best tindies in the game. Let me, let me pull one of mine out. All right. God, I love Publix chicken tenders. Starting yeah. with ketchup, everyone's favorite chicken dipping sauce. Do you like ketchup? Yeah, ketchup's fine. Ketchup is good. My okay. <laughs> I immediately realized that. Okay, well, you get that one, I'll, I'll start taking other... Oh, that's not going to have one. All right, I'm done. All right, good work, Matt. Give it a shake. We don't want ketchup juice. Good shake. Well, that's a good shake. That was vigorous. Wow. So you like that long range? Good work. I don't think I've ever had Publix chicken in ketchup. In ketchup. I haven't either. Almost well, feels disgraceful. I mean, get a lot on there. It's mm. about the dipping sauce, not the chicken. Yeah, that chicken is good. Mm -hmm. I forgot there was ketchup on it. <laughs> so good thing we're doing a dipping sauce. <laughs> Here, let's, let's just do what tastes best with Publix chicken mm -hmm. tenders. I'll get a good scoop. That's actually really good. Yeah, it's not bad. Man, Publix has some weird rules, like you can't have a mustache or whatever. Or you can have a mustache and no beard and shit, but my god, those rules lead to perfection. Yeah, they don't mess up on the chicken. Mm -hmm. You can taste the lack of beard. Where they actually have a no beard rule? You can't have a beard, but just you can have a mustache. Like a pedophile Just for mustache. the deli? Yeah, you would guess for everywhere. In general. Oh, really? Yeah, you can't have a beard. That's weird. That's pretty good. We... I'll say it first. I'd give that a B tier. Just come on to A. I think it's B tier because these are going to be better, 100% in chicken. I guess that's true. We often well, we, go back and... We have things. french fries. Why don't we put french fries in the ketchup? <laughs> it's good. It, it's biased when you use the chicken. I got that sentence out. Don't worry. <laughs> I got there in the end. That's an A tier. <laughs> Damn. That's fucking nutty. Yeah, I'm sticking with it. Potatoes and ketchup is fucking crazy. That's real good. Woo! All right, I'm going A for ketchup. I'll go A. These french fries are the B if you're using chicken. Now let's talk about today's sponsor, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club which sends these incredible boxes of goods to your door. It's top shelf items that are from under the radar brands. Every month you're going to get a different box of things based on a quiz you fill out with your preferences. So one month you might get outdoor items, maybe items for the house, kitchen utensils, clothing, pretty much every possible area and genre, you can find Bespoke Post delivering a nice quality box of some really good items for it to you. So for me this month I chose cooking, anything related to the kitchen, and I got some American barbecue rub, which is really solid. I tried it on chicken the other night. I imagine it goes better on steak, but I haven't had steak yet. And they also sent me a high quality butcher's cleaver here, which I haven't had a chance to give a workout to yet, but it looks really good. And I imagine when I am ready to start tackling some actual meals, that's gonna really come in handy. I also let Tiana pick one and she chose like outdoor survival kind of stuff because she loves to hike. So then they sent me this box which is just full of like some survival gear like a knife and everything like that. There's actually a ton of stuff in here. So she's been taking this with her and I had to take it from her car to show you. So pretty much any kind of category that you're interested in, Bespoke Post has a box available for it. You also have the ability to preview what's inside the boxes just to make sure that it's items that you're interested in getting. So that's extremely helpful. So if you're interested in trying it for yourself, you can click the link in the description below to get 20% off your first box. So yeah, just click the link in the description below, use the coupon code MOIST20. So that's MOIST20 at checkout, and just click the link in the description below to get started. Alright, where do you want to go now? Ooh, we're going to mustard. mustard everybody's favorite dipping sauce. We're <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Do, do people dip in straight mustard? I don't think that's, that's what we said on the phone call this morning, too. I said mayo and mustard, and he goes, Are those dipping sauces? <laughs> They're absolutely not <laughs> dipping sauces. They're hot dog <laughs> toppings and burger and toppings. toppings. Sandwiches, too, actually. Yeah, yeah. mayo goes, or uh, mustard goes great on a Cuban. It mm -hmm. does. Let's get a little chicken dip and some mustard. Let me get some a mussy. Let me get a fresh chicky out. You know what's weird, though? Huh. Is once you add honey to the mustard, then it is a dipping sauce. True. Oh, I got right. I don't think I'm gonna like this. I got fat stuff. <laughs> I, I really committed to it. Hmm. Not as bad as I was expecting. 
Oh, um, that's a lot worse than I was expecting. <laughs> oh my god. Well, right off the bat, I don't really like mustard, so I didn't think I'd like it at all, and it was fine. I'd give it a C. Ooh. <laughs> we don't agree on this one. No, no, no. What would you rate that? D. That does not go on chicken at all. It does not take, like, when you put the ketchup on, it complements it. When you put that on, you've got chicken in your mouth and you got mustard in your mouth. Yeah, that was a war weight. My fucking back is hurting right now. <laughs> I kept getting fucking heartburn. You have an immediate <laughs> kidney stone. Oh, what's the capsaicin on, a, or the Scoville on mustard? <laughs> yeah, she was spicy. <laughs> Ma, my fucking back hurts from the mustard. <laughs> Things fucking attacking my insides. Right. I'm so confused. Oh, that's the trash point. We'll just stack the trash in. Yeah. All right, here you go. I've never thought to dip chicken in mayonnaise, but this should be cool. Hellman's re Oh, baby, this is going to be good. I've got a good feeling about this one, actually. <laughs> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rip the chicken. I'm going way too hard. I'm, you, yeah, just I'm get a little dip. I'm getting a little wacky. I'm getting a little wacky. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like just straight mayo. It tastes like the chicken tinder milkshake. Yeah, that's not good. But let me let me open your eyes real quick. Oh. Ooh. Isn't that just Chick Fil A sauce? Yeah. What kind of mad science is no, this? No, Chick Fil A sauce uses barbecue. Uh. Let me just. Let me just teach you a little something. This is called special sauce. <laughs> Matt's special formula. That looks good. Is it for chicken or for fries? Both. All right, let's Maybe. go. I'm Take not it. sure. Taking a dive. Pretty good. My eyes are open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His back is healed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty fucking good. You didn't think that was coming out, did you? No, oh, God. Boom. All right, so the mayonnaise, I'd give a C. Matt's uh, forbidden jutsu <laughs> recipe, whatever, I'd give that like a B. Yeah. That's good. I like I like that secret sauce. That's fucking good. I'll give that a B as well, but the mayo, I'm going lower than a C. I did not enjoy that. I would give it a D. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Aggressive, but okay. Well, you also, for some reason, liked the chicken tender milkshake more than Danny and I. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> it tasted like... Just straight bile. It tasted like fun. <laughs> it tasted like summer. Yeah, like summer. <laughs> All right, are we just moving down the line? Yeah, just gonna yeah, go line. for it. Hit All right, ranch. Ranch by none other than Hidden Valley. Yeah, this is a classic. I mean, you can't go wrong with ranch. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's an S tier. What if it's bad ranch though? Yeah, it's spoiled. When did it expire? Well, it was purchased an hour ago, so. Woo! Woo, baby! Let's go! I don't like that ranch very much. Well, that's blasphemous. I think it's good. I've got, nice. I've got buttermilk ranch in the fridge. That's better. <laughs> oh, there goes Chelsea. Get the buttermilk bucket. That's an S. I'd, I'd, give, I'd give that an A on my buttermilk ranch. I'll tell you it's an S right <laughs> off the bat. It's from PDQ. <laughs> Knew that was coming. <laughs> so much free advertising, Matt. You make me sick. All right, my bad. That's the buttermilk brand. It's a PDQ. <laughs> yeah. You know, I actually don't like their buttermilk. You're an <gasps> idiot. I don't. I don't like it. It's okay at best. Let me make sure this is. Still this is the mystery dipping sauce I was talking about. I don't think that's good anymore. <laughs> no, 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 dip it. I, I'm not going. No, no, no. You said it's so good, Matt. You have to try it. This is from when we had visitors do a, a shoot in the warehouse. And oh, so it's a bumpful. That that's yeah. That, it that just, doesn't smell good. It well, just listen. ages like fine wine, Matt. This is good until next year, so it should be good. That has buttermilk in it. That doesn't. What's the matter? Buttermilk is dairy. I mean, I'm sure there's dairy in that yeah, too. Cheese lasts for like a year. Don't be a pussy, man. I'm not gonna eat spoiled buttermilk ranch. <laughs> You were scared that you were going to get here too late to eat the chicken. Yeah, we're running out <laughs> of time too. We're about to spoil. Well, you take it because it's at room temperature. Yeah, damn right. That's when the germs come out to play. Chunky blue cheese. Oh, I hate blue cheese. I don't like blue cheese um, either. I, <laughs> yum, yum, yum. The chunkiest one for you guys. This might be like the first one I would consider an actual dipping sauce. Besides maybe ranch. Ranch and ketchup? 
Well, ketchup yeah. is only a dipping sauce for fries. To yeah. Be fair. I'd say ranch in this one are the first two. Yeah. Uh, people dip their chicken nuggets in ketchup all the time. I'm going in deep on the blue cheese. First time I heard about this was Cuba Gooding Jr.'s Snow Dogs. <laughs> Cuba Gooding Jr. was like, check out this blue cheese. I was like, what the fuck is blue cheese? What's going on, man? I hate fucking hate blue cheese. I want to spit it out. So is that like a B tier, maybe? <laughs> a B, C tier? I can't chew. It's locking my jaw. I hate blue <clears throat> cheese so much. <laughs> it's so gross. It's like eating paint. You think if PDQ uh, made blue cheese, you'd like it? Uh, no. I hate blue cheese. It's just mold. That actually, my stomach hurts. Ew. Here, let's try a french fry in it. You're crazy. I'm not doing that, you can. You told me to eat spoiled... Bread. I would choose spoiled I, I, I would too, cheese. I'm not even joking. I'm sure that has more flavorful... I don't want to do that one, but I couldn't <laughs> chew the first time. Get it out of my sight. That's F. Where's your journalistic integrity, Matt? There it is. That's F. There it is. It's called pure pressure. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's like soap. It's a lot. It's a lot worse than soap. It's it's tastes. I like, can't chew. It tastes like what a paint can smells like. You're entirely right, which is weird. I hate that. Yeah, blue cheese is gross. Let me dip this in the. I also sauce. hate the packaging because it looks like penis veins. It's yucky. Is this like a really unappealing everything? Wait, can you point out the penis veins to me? No, how do you not see, see the clear penis well, veins? No, like here, like you see. <laughs> <laughs> like if you look at it from a distance, like it just looks like veins. It's just kind of gross. You look so disappointed in me. <laughs> Let's ride. F tier, by the way, again, I want to reiterate. Can we go below? What's below F? Isn't there an E? E is Used above it. F. We, oh. we just never use it. All right, F tier. Is there okay? So um, is there E on most people's tier list? Because no. there's no like when you're letter grading in school, there's no there's E. There's no E. Yeah. Well, there is an E. There's no S stuff. either, though. So. Yeah. I guess. Do you remember like in kindergarten, E was an A for excellence? Ooh, you got the chunky honey mustard too. Are you supposed to shake it? No, maybe I don't know. We got all the mustard, no honey. Yeah, that's a lot of musty. Yeah, let's dive into this honey musty. That, that was the only honey mustard I could find in its public spray. This does not smell like honey mustard. Smell this, Matt. It smells like my ass. It smells like another paint can. Let's let's try it. I'm excited now. Let, let me mix it up so it's not as chunky. <laughs> that is, I've never smelled honey mustard. Are we not like paying that. Chelsea enough? <laughs> <laughs> To is she upset with us? <laughs> the next dipping sauce is motor oil. <laughs> Everybody dips their chicken in this. Mm. Tastes better than it smells. That's a pleasant surprise. Honey mustard is my favorite dipping sauce. And ranch. I go back and forth. When I go to PDQ, I get honey mustard and ranch, and I take one bite of each and I alternate. Have you tried mixing them together? Don't be an idiot. No man's ever done that. Have you one. tried it? No, it's too scary. I don't think honey mustard can go bad, right? I don't think so. Yeah, no, it, it can't. In fact, did you know honey, even from the ancient Egyptian days, is still good today? They can't spoil. Really? Mm -hmm. All right, so this is like perfect. That's this actually, is, it's gonna preserve your insides. Yeah, this is, this is PDQ honey mustard. Yep, probably no honey in it, so you probably fucked, but it's, it's what it is. Mm. Prepare. Honey mustard, I'm giving an S tier. Um, not, maybe not this brand in particular though, but just general honey mustard. I have to give an S tier. Not to say Publix was bad, it just felt uninspired. Yeah, it was it was slapped together. Yeah, they were just going through the motions. There's no real passion from the honey mustard chef. My god, if you want to taste passion. I'll pass. Charlie doesn't like passion. <laughs> I don't like it sitting out for fucking a it's month been and a half. In the fridge. Well, you were afraid of buttermilk in the fridge. Coward. Well, if you leave your milk in a fridge for a month, do you think that's good milk because it was in the fridge, or do you still say it expired four weeks ago? You know, it depends on how it smells. Did you smell it? Yeah, I did. Would you like to? Yeah, let me smell it. That's passion. That's something. I think you should try it. It's not good. <laughs> it's not good. 
You should absolutely try it. I'll try it if you try it. I will not try it. (laughs) We'll both be sick together. I'm not looking for a foodborne illness, but it would be good if you did. (laughs) Thousand Island. This is for salads usually, right? I was going to say, is this a dipping sauce or is this just a salad dressing? Some people dip. Um, People put it on their burgers too. Like this is what you get on a uh, patty melt. You get Thousand Island dressing on patty melts. Uh I'm not saying like you do, I mean that's what comes off. Yeah, yeah, but do you dip your patty melts in it? If it falls off the side, <laughs> I do the little... Is this like a mayonnaise based <laughs> dipping sauce? I believe so. Yeah, do you know? Feels like it. There's ingredients on it. I don't read those. It's a lot. I'm committing pretty hard, let's go! Oh. That's very yummy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Honestly, it's kind of like my secret sauce. I actually taste really similar to your secret sauce. Oh, it's got tomato puree. <laughs> it is just my it's secret, secret sauce. sauce. It's my secret sauce with like relish in it. <laughs> That's very good. I'd give that an S. It's better than your secret sauce, but it does taste similar. I'd give it an A. Where'd you give it? S for me. We're in a hot streak. Mm. I like that. I also like that. Hit me with that one. I probably won't Ooh. like that. Have you had Sweet Baby Ray's before? No. It's my favorite barbecue sauce company. That's where I keep my nails long to get into the Sweet Baby Ray's sauce. I heard you talk about Sweet Baby Ray's. You have? Yeah. Sweet Baby Ray's. Let's dive right in. You want to see what? Sweet Baby Ray looks like because there's not a picture on him. I don't know why I thought there was. That's pretty good. That's smoky. Mm-hmm. Wow. So the sauce is the boss. Mmm. I don't normally like barbecue sauce. Neither That's good. Sweet Baby Ray, goddamn. Tangy. Woo! Smoky. Sweet. Sweet Baby. Tastiest. Let me try a fry it. I'll do the same. That's is this good. your lunch? Should we not eat all of these? <laughs> <laughs> she brought her lunch to eat and you guys are just <laughs> going in on it. I got fries for lunch. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's very good. It's great on french fries. It's not as good as Thousand Island or Honey Mustard, but it's A for me. I'd give it an A as well. Oh, Sweet Baby Ray's again? Jesus Christ. Yeah. He said, Creamy buffalo. He said, come on, boys. Be nice to Ray. I, there used to be a picture of Ray on this. What's he look like? I only remember him as like a Louisiana jazz man. Um, we need to look up a picture because like I have a very clear image in my head. Like the Velvet Vic? I don't know about the Vic. I think I'm just picturing Louis Armstrong, to be honest. <laughs> I might have gotten them confused. It's a little known fact, Louis Armstrong and Sweet Baby Ray were good friends. That was his nickname. Yeah. Sweet Baby Ray. I I gotta look up Sweet Baby Ray. (laughs) I'm sorry. Let me see a picture of him. Man better look fucking stunning. Like Benjamin Button or something. Alright, show me a picture of Ray. These are all just the sauce. Oh, there he is. That is not at all. No, this what isn't him. As. That's not him. That is absolutely him. That's not him. A hundred percent. Wait, now look up Louis Armstrong. <laughs> I can tell you right off the bat, there's a big difference, Danny. <laughs> just type in what does Sweet Baby Ray look like, and then like meet and greet maybe. <laughs> Sweet Baby Ray look like. Is there like a Sweet Baby Ray convention maybe that he appears at? Come on. Show me your it face. might not be a real person. That's true. Well, I'm sure at one point there was a character at yeah. least. Well, I'm going to try his, what is this, Creamy Buffalo? Yucky. Well, well, let's see if Jackson can find a good picture of Sweet Baby Ray. Hopefully none of the ones I found. Oh, I hate this one. <laughs> I do not like buffalo. I don't like buffalo and I don't like blue cheese. So let's try it. What is this? Creamy buffalo? Mm-hmm. Uh, the the color alone is disconcerting. Like uh, that's some neon shit. Looks like paint. 
Buffalo sauce is not good. Not good. Not bad with blue cheese. But not good. Yeah, I won't give it. I won't give it like an F. I'll give it a D. But fuck. I hate. If I could food. really separate the F, this would be F plus if that's better, and then F minus for blue cheese. But I'd go D. F for blue cheese. It had some kick to it. It did. I'll just, give you that. Normally I think you're crazy, but that one had some kick. That's just gross. Buffalo. Do you like buffalo sauce, Danny? You strike me as a don't. buffalo guy. I'm not you a like buffalo, buffalo guy. Sauce? Yeah. I love buffalo sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been a buffalo guy. Yeah. Every time we do one of these, I learn something I don't like about you. <laughs> 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 you make me sick. Oh, we've got you like buffalo sauce, you eat the plain Cheerios. Plain Cheerios. You like those really awful tasting fruit, like berries, black the berries. golden berries or whatever No, I hated the golden berries, hold on. Wait, which no, are the ones that you berries. like? She, hit, she likes uh, blackberries. Blackberries are delicious. Very bitter. <laughs> yeah, if you like eating raw butthole like this, <laughs> it's fucking gross. Yeah, Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. You're insinuating that you no. can cook butthole? <laughs> raw, <Rot> like, <laughs> <laughs> as opposed to the boiled butthole. Yes. <laughs> the worst kind. Don't get me started on fried. Oh. All right, Chick-fil-A special sauce. Is that what it's called? Or is it Chick-fil-A oh, sauce? Okay, I was gonna say, when did they add that to it? Oh, I like Chick-fil-A sauce. Everyone likes Chick-fil-A sauce. I believe it's barbecue and mayo? Mayo, I think. Yeah. Maybe honey mussy? Or just barbecue and mayo? Well, I mean, the color would indicate there's at least honey mustard elements to it. Unless they use a golden barbecue sauce. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, baby. Smoker. That is good. Yummy. I like that a lot. I'll give it S tier. S for me as well. I've always liked Chick-fil-A sauce. Whew. Speed Speed slaps. That was easy. I already know that. Yeah, my tummy's hurting. <laughs> Have you had Polynesian before? Yep, I used to like Polynesian more than As a kid, sauce. Polynesian was my favorite. Yep. I agree. There's a, there's a cap. Yeah, there wasn't Danny. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> there, get the little extra I'm basking sauce. in your shame. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. I like Polynesian. Oh, here comes the choo-choo train. Woo! Mmm. Not as good as I remember. Is it similar like sweet and sour from McDonald's? Yeah. You remember when BTS had their own meal? Mm-hmm. Tastes nothing like that. Good. <laughs> no, just it's reminding, very just reminding you. Brown sugary. Yeah. That is I like I don't think we can check the contents. Well, wait, yes we can, we have a bottle of it. That's gotta have a ton of sugar in it. <clears throat> two tablespoons is 16 grams of sugar. It's too sweet for me. I know why I liked it more as a kid now though. Right. I haven't had this in a while. Here, wait, I wanna try it on a fry. See how it is with potatoes. I'll give it a B tier. That's, ma Picardo. that's mainly nostalgia talking, to be honest. Ordinarily, I'd give that like a B, like lower B, high C. I'll stick with B though. Too sweet. Agreed. B. That's real sweet. I did not remember it being that sweet. <clears throat> Whew. Oh God. Is that buffalo? Who set them in this world? Oh, this is yum yum. This is yum yum sauce. Yum yum sauce. Oh God. This is what I puked up everywhere. <laughs> oh, when you had food poisoning, you had a lot of yum yum. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I can't look at it. Matt, I'm just kidding, it's not yum yum sauce. <laughs> if you puke, this will be such good content. Yeah, it's not on the, the carpet, please. Yeah, the carpet's new, so just do it on the table. Oh, I'm having flashbacks! No! <laughs> you're like a terrorist. <laughs> of flavor. Yeah, you're like Guy Fieri's enemy. <laughs> <laughs> flavor Town's arch. Oh, yes. oh god, this is honestly the first time I've looked at this since. How long ago was it that you got food poisoning and went to the hospital? Uh, I think it was it was before the pandemic even. It's like two and a half years ago, and I still to this day can't eat sushi because of it. It was that bad. But you can eat yum yum. I don't know that I can. Oh, that does not really work with chicken. That's what I like to hear. 
This is actually scaring me. Did you even get any on there? Wait, but now you've conquered it. I haven't. <laughs> I really haven't. Just lick it. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I tried, I could puke right now. Pussy. We're good. <laughs> Do it. It's clearly just flavored mayo. <clears throat> That's what makes it so good. It's not very good on chicken, though. Let me try it on try a, on a french fry, Matt. No, thanks. That's where you're going to get most of the good stuff, Matt. Here, we'll split it for Well, no, because here's what I puked everywhere. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was yum yum sauce on sweet potato sushi. Because that's a normal potato, Matt. No, this is oh, a good point. It's not a sweet potato. Yeah. It's also not sushi. Why do I do this? Fine. Much better. You have got me over my fear of this. Still will never eat sushi again in my life. We'll have to do a sushi tier list next. I don't eat seafood. Gas station sushi, though. Yeah, for botulism. <laughs> botulism tier list. Definitely better on the French fry. Yeah. Look how quickly you got over that. Yeah, that you helped a thank, lot. You should thank Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. It's called exposure therapy. I used to do it for spiders. Are you still afraid of them? I am. We'll have to do a spider You test. clearly didn't expose yourself enough. Oh, it helped a lot, honestly. I used to be a lot more afraid. All right, last one. I don't know why. Uh, I'll give it A tier. Uh, I think yum yum is normally S tier, but we don't have anything fun to taste it with, so I'm just gonna go A tier. I'm gonna put it in in A. <laughs> Never again. I'm sure this one will also give you flashbacks. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure this one will be great. <laughs> I'm excited to dip my chicken in soy sauce. <laughs> That was Charlie's idea. It was. It was, <laughs> was Charlie. I said we need to have soy sauce. For do, you di do you dip stuff in soy sauce, Charlie? No, I don't That's even, not sushi. I don't even like soy sauce. <laughs> I don't dip my sushi in soy sauce. It's it's literally just salt. You're yeah, quite literally just giving me PTSD on these last two sauces. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> you took, you so took a much. healthy uh, Holy dollop shit. there. That's so salty. It's li it's just a bunch of like salt and oil. I don't like it on sushi. I don't like it on anything. It just overpowers all of it. You have to. I like it, but it has to like a drop per bite, like very light flavor. <sighs> oh, that was a lot. <clears throat> Sorry for yelling. God damn it. Now, do we rate it just as soy sauce or soy sauce on chicken? <laughs> on chicken, not good. <laughs> we get to try it on a French fry. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, actually, it might not be bad because it's just Here, salty let me, fries. Let me get a normal little. Is that good? Just yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, a little playful. Drop. <laughs> I mean, I would not do it again. So I don't like it. I'm gonna put this in my sauce. Mmm. I just don't like soy sauce very much. I'm gonna give it a D. Honestly, that combo, I'd give an F. People are going to lose their fucking minds in the comments, but I just don't like soy sauce. I enjoy soy sauce, just don't put it on chicken tenders. The only thing I ever like soy sauce on is like a hibachi. When mm -hmm. they do it with their rice and yep. their noodles together. I think that's when it really works. But when you're trying to like dip shit in it, like sushi and all that, it's yucky. Soy sauce has a place, and this is not it. I kind of want to drink it, though. Do it. Um, it's going to be the perfect end for the video. <laughs>